What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my sweat proof all day wear uh, makeup look bronzy that I've been using lately. Um, if you are new to my channel, what's up? Hi, so happy to have you. A little disclaimer, if you see my under eyes like too chalky, white, powdery um, under eyes, I promise you in person it doesn't look like that. I guess the flashback of the Fenty Beauty um, lavender setting powder does that with the lights. I'm pretty sure that if I turn off the lights a little bit, let me see, it'll be really, really dark. But, okay, a little bit darker. It's very warm. The face looks super warm. I promise you that face-to-face -face pictures in Instagram, you will not see the powder, the white residue, whatever, the the white flashback like I promise you so I wanted to share with you guys I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a hot minute but I do get asked a lot um, I know you live in Florida Francis and I see that you um, always wear makeup how do you wear makeup does it melt in the Florida heat and I decided to record it for you guys because it is sweat proof all day resistant um, uh, what is it transfer resistant and I absolutely love it and not feels heavy or cakey at all and it's pretty much my go-to makeup look very bronzy skin um very um illuminated and i hope that you like the video <laughs> and i promise you it's very easy to recreate i will never ever make videos here on makeup that it's going to be hard so if you're a newbie if you're starting out in makeup i promise you if you follow my steps every step you will achieve this look and it would be very easy so let's go ahead and dive into this tutorial Alright guys, so let's start with prepping. I feel like moisturizing your skin is going to help um, all your products adhere even better and just nice canvas for your skin. And I love this one because it's very gentle and it's very good. The second step is primer. I feel like depending on the primer you use is going to be um, either going to make it or, or not. And honestly, the Urban Decay All Nighter it like, is like a grip and is also hydrating and gives you a nice glow. Step three, foundation. I've been using the NARS Reflecting Foundation. I feel like it's very lightweight and it actually has a very long wear as well. After I apply this with my damn beauty blender, um, I like to mix in a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury foundation. They are both uh, very good on the uh, lasting side, I would say. So they both last pretty well on my skin. I actually lock my foundation, you guys. After foundation, I do the um, Urban Decay lock spray, but I damp the beauty blender and then just kind of go over my foundation. Then I move on to my concealer. I use the Hydro Concealer by e.l.f. Everything is like hydrating that I'm using in my skin. I don't know if you've noticed, like hydration, it's key, especially for summer. And it just looks more flawless and it looks more like glowy, I would say. And I'm just highlighting and blending the high points of my face. I love how this concealer um, really highlights and hides my dark circles. Then I set with this um, loose powder by uh, Fancy Beauty in the color Lavender. I've been loving the lavender color under my eyes. It makes them look brighter. And what I like about this is very light. It doesn't feel cakey and it does not crease my concealer during the day. Very important to bake, especially those areas where um, you tend to crease because this is what's going to help set your makeup. Then I use a setting powder and this is actually not a setting powder, I'm, I'm sorry, a pressed powder. And that one is from on, uh, Charlotte Tilbury. It sets my makeup, it just leaves it in place, and I feel like it just locks everything together. Bronzer, I'm using the Morphe bronzer. I love the shade, I feel like it gives me a very nice sun glow, and it's very mattifying. This blush, so good, is the e.l.f. Putty blush, hopefully I'm saying it right, in the color Bora Bora, and I like kind of like sealing the bronzer with this cream blush it makes everything just look so hydrated so nice but at the same time i feel like it seals my powders in place then i'm gonna do my um eyebrows off camera and i'm using the nyx brow pencil love it love it love it 
Let's go in and to my eyes using the Morphe 9R bronze metals and I'll show you which colors exactly I used on my eyes. I use the number one, the number two, the number three for my crease. Okay, so the number one is a very light neutral shade. I'm using that in my crease, kind of like my blending bed color all over my crease, all the way up to the start of my brow. Then I move on to that second darker brown shade and oh my god, these brushes are bad. I just picked them up at Murphy, but they do not pick up anything. <laughs> so I use the darker just to kind of intensify a little bit the eye look. And I use it right there on that crease bump that I have. Um, it's easier to do the makeup on my type of eyes because I have like really like a lot of space. So I use the bone to kind of help me identify where I want to place my, my colors. Then... And here I went in a couple of times with that gold color from this palette and I at the end I saw that if you wet the brush it will work a lot better. So I just pretty much placed that gold shade all over the lid and then I used the lighter highlight color uh, to pop the brow bone highlight and I thought that it made a huge difference just kind of like highlighted my eye like look at that. And then I mixed the number two and the darkest shade on the palette and I wet the brush with a little bit of setting powder um, and I applied as my liner very close to my lash line. Very, very close, but not too much. Very simple everyday makeup. And then I used the number one shade and the number two shade and I used them on my lower lash line. Very close to my lash line. Again, it's very simple makeup. Mascara, Essence Mascara False Lashes. It's one of my holy grail from the drugstore. Makes my lashes look popping. And I did lash extensions, and I feel like every time I do lash extensions, my, my, my lashes just don't grow back the same. All right, now I'm just kind of cleansing out and cleaning off and dusting off uh, my excess baking. And then I'm gonna go with the Ella Luce palette with um, highlight. This highlight is so pretty. I feel like it's just very subtle, but at the same time, gives a very nice highlight to the face. And I'm just pretty much highlighting all the high points of my face. Lip, these are my combo right now, NYX and the, I'll list everything for you guys. I know I kind of passed it very fast, but I list everything that was down on the description for you. I outline my lips, not over the top. Um, it is a daytime look, so I just outline. Then I put a little bit of the matte lipstick. I feel like it's very hydrating actually, and it lasts all day. After this, I do the setting spray and lock everything in place, guys. That's it. Here is the finished look. I feel like it's very bronzy, very glowy. The skin looks hydrated, very nice, and it lasts all day, y'all. Hey. All right, guys, so you made it to the end of the video, and I don't know how to act, guys. I have not done, like I said in the beginning of the video, I have not done a makeup video in a very long time, and I feel like total newbie. My angles were incorrect, but anyways, I just wanted to film it for you guys because I tried doing it on Instagram, and it didn't work out. So I really hope you liked the video. I really hope that you re can recreate it. I try to make it as easy as possible. But um, other than that, guys, I'm going to link all the makeup products that I use on my description as usual. And if you like it, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And yes, I will be trying my best to give you guys a little bit more videos here on YouTube. I know that I've said this in the past, but sometimes having a lot going on in your hands, in your mind, in your household can really get to you and you push back what you really, really wanna do in life and what really brings joy to you. Aside from being a mom, aside from being a business owner, aside from being a wife, aside from paying attention to my kids on an everyday basis, I like this. I like to sit down and do videos for you guys and I like to chit chat with you guys. Um, and I never get the chance to actually do something that I like, but welcome to the mom world. So I do apologize if you see videos from me from like three months ago and and all of a sudden you see a video today but i hope you really really support it and enjoy it and really 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 support it guys like i can't stress enough like right now there's chaos going on in the second floor with my three kids and i'm just here recording like life it's nothing all right guys i'll let you go thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video adios